Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and as you probably know, iOS 18.1 has finally been released. The first big update to iOS 18 with a ton of new features and changes. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about this update, but we're talking about battery. What are the few things that you need to know in order to fix the battery drain issues if you're having any on iOS 18.1? Now the first thing would be actually just waiting for three to four days before you get better battery life. This has also been confirmed by Apple. Whenever you install a new update on your iPhone, there will be a ton of processes going on in the background the first few days, so you will have to wait for a couple of days or three or four days in order to get a better battery life. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have updated to the latest version from the beta of iOS 18.1. If you're someone that has tested iOS 18.1, whether that be the dev beta or the public beta, you need to make sure that you have installed the latest update. So go to the software update page and make sure you have updated to the latest release of iOS 18.1. Another thing you want to make sure is that you have all of your apps updated once you have updated your device to 18.1. There will be a ton of updates. I just updated my apps. I got like 25 updates today. So a lot of the popular apps will release updates once a big iOS release goes out. So make sure you also have the apps updated in order for these apps to be more compatible with a new update and hopefully also consume way less battery. Now, of course, the biggest feature of iOS 18.1 are the new Apple intelligence features, but they of course will consume battery. So when you go to settings and go under Apple intelligence, if you have actually enabled it right here, it will enable all the new Apple intelligence features, but they do consume a ton of battery. So what I suggest right here is that if you're not actually using them, maybe you want to turn them off or if you're just not having a good battery life at all just turn them off for the first few days after you have installed iOS 18.1 on your device until the battery life starts to get a bit better and then you can go ahead and turn them back on now the way to turn them off is pretty simple you head on to your settings go under Apple intelligence and Siri and just at the button when you turn them on you can just quickly switch them off from here now another thing you want to do right here is go under talk and type to Siri and you will have a few different options right here. So now with the new iOS 18.1 we can type to Siri like this. Of course you can invoke Siri with the side button but then you will also have the hey word right here which you can use to invoke Siri. If you don't actually use that way of invoking Siri make sure to turn this off. This will of course be working in the background and it will require some kind of CPU power and battery battery usage in order for this to be ready to actually just bring up Siri whenever you request it. So if you don't actually use it, make sure you have it turned off. Now with iOS 18, of course, we got the new control center and with the new control center, third party apps can also add different toggles to the control center. Now there are a lot of apps that do offer some just like fun widgets for the control center like a spinning fan or something like that that's animated and will be animated all the time. I would suggest you don't actually use any of these because they will be working all the time. So if you have like an animation here on one of the widgets, that means that that of course is using, is using power to be animated and I suggest that you go ahead and remove those from your control center. The next thing I suggest you do is head on to your settings and then go under battery and right here you will see a list of apps and how much battery they have used on your device. So if you're seeing apps right here that have a ton of background activity and you know those apps don't actually need to be working in the background or just like our apps that you don't actually use a lot, make sure that you identify those apps and remove them from your device. If you really need to have one of those apps, make sure you go to the app store and search for an alternative. Otherwise, I would suggest you completely delete those apps from your iPhone. Now, another thing you want to make sure you do is don't keep widgets on the home screen and the lock screen that you don't actually need. Now, if you have a widget like this, it looks pretty cool, but as you can see, it has a ton of things here. It has weather, it has battery, it has time, and all those things will be need to be updated 
all the time. So every time they're updating, they're of course requiring battery power. So what I suggest you do is limit your home screen and your lock screen as well to only the widgets that you actually need to use. Now with iOS 18, we also have a new feature called Vocal Shortcuts. So Vocal Shortcuts can be found here under the Accessibility Settings. You go here, scroll all the way down, and you will have Vocal Shortcuts. Now this is really cool, but just look what happens if I turn this on. If I turn this feature on, you will see the dot right there, the indicator, which means that the Accessibility Settings are now using my microphone, and it actually does stay that way. So this feature is all the time using using my microphone in the background of course just waiting for my command to actually invoke any of these actions using the vocal shortcuts so if you have tried out this feature and you have left it on make sure that you turn it off i think that this is a great feature to have of course it will be very useful for a lot of people but if you don't actually need to use it make sure you have it turned off now the same goes for music haptics. This is another great feature. Of course, Apple always does amazing things with the accessibility features. They are great on this part, but if you don't really need to have this feature, this is a must turn off. So it basically will just consume the battery out of your iPhone. It uses the haptic engine on your iPhone and you know that that engine does consume a ton of battery. Now right here under the accessibility settings, we also have sound recognition, another feature that does require a ton of CPU power and battery power. It does stay in the background working because it will always stay aware and listening for the sounds to recognize. That way, of course, consumes a ton of battery. So this is another feature that I suggest you keep on only if you really need it. Otherwise, make sure you have this turned off as well. Moving on into the general settings, and here we have AirDrop. Now, of course, AirDrop is a pretty cool feature of iOS. What I would suggest you do here is, first of all, bring devices together should be turned off. Now, this is a feature that you probably very rarely use if you have ever actually used it other than just trying out and seeing how it does work. This is a feature I suggest you completely turn off and also keep AirDrop off when you're not using it. Otherwise, it will just consume a ton of battery. And let's go back here under the accessibility settings and we have here a feature that was really popular when it got released way back we have back tap here another feature that's pretty cool it allows us to perform different actions using double taps and triple taps on the back of your iphone a lot of times this will actually perform the action accidentally that way consuming battery so i would suggest that if you have this enabled any of the double tap or the triple tap and you're not using it make sure you have that off as well Moving on here under display and brightness, and we have a feature called Rise to Wake. This is one of the features that I turn off all the time when I get a new phone. It is a feature that will basically wake up the screen of your iPhone once you pick it out of your pocket or out from a table or something like that. But it does consume a ton of battery because it has always to be ready always looking for that motion of the phone in order to turn on the screen it's basically not that useful so make sure you have that off as well and we're going back under the accessibility settings here let's find siri we have a really important setting here it is called always listen for siri and what this does is that it will keep basically a siri alert in the background always listening for the command for it to pop up whether your iphone will be in your pocket or laying face down on a table it doesn't matter listening for the siri word will be actually active all the time so you don't want to do that make sure you go ahead and turn it off Another thing you need to be aware of are the haptics that you have turned on on your iPhone. So go to sounds and haptics and first of all, go to haptics here. Now I keep it on never play, that's my preference, but the best option here would probably be in just play, don't play, in, uh, actually play in silent mode, which means that when your iPhone is in silent mode, you will have the haptics for your notifications on your phone calls. But of course, once your iPhone is not on the silent mode it will actually also not play the haptics that's the best option because again the haptic engine does consume a ton of battery 
Moving on into the seller data. So go to your seller data and go to voice and data here and make sure you configure 5G the right way. If you're on a place where you know you have great 5G coverage, of course you can keep it on. But if you're on a place where you know that the 5G coverage is not that great, just switch to LTE or 4G, whatever you have, because keeping 5G on will make your iPhone always try to connect to 5G from LTE to 5G. That way it does really consume a ton of battery. I don't know if you have noticed it before, but this will actually just drain the battery out of your iPhone. Also, when you're out somewhere, maybe hiking or something like that, the better option will be turning on airplane mode because if you don't have coverage there it will just drain the battery because it's always trying to connect so make sure if you don't have good 5g coverage that you turn it off from here so that's basically it for this video guys these are a few tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain on your ios 18.1 device hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one